You're watching The Curse of Oak Island in a Rush, and we're recapping the Season 7 episode, The Lucky 13. So what happened? If you can't find a giant underground treasure vault, it might be easier to find the small, narrow flood tunnels leading to it. At least that's this week's theory. So they drill Smith's Cove for more cores full of mud bits, wood bits, smelly bits, and angled bits. And some of the bits kind of look like the same wood from the slipway. And according to an animated graphic, leads directly toward the money pit. Well, I'm convinced. Analysis of the wood bits show they may be from 1735 to 1784, and prove they're from a flood tunnel. So now the flood tunnels are made of wood and not stone? Got it. In the war room, it's confirmed the swamp once had some people doing some things for some reason, and they are dedicated to somehow at some time find some way to excavate it. They plan to use an inflatable dam that for some reason doesn't include the eye of the swamp, which last week was the key, to everything. Then we're off for metal detecting in lot 21. They find a coin of no real significance and a decorative brooch, which is somehow immediately connected to the French Navy and Templars. It's cleaned using the power of science and it proves nothing. It does have 13 branches on one side, however, which does connect it to George Washington and using the Templar fortunes to fund the American Revolution. Yeah, obviously. Tune in next time when a tunnel beneath the swamp is revealed to be filled with delicious turkey stuffing. That's next time on The Curse of Pumpkin Pie Land. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Unless you're not American, then happy to whatever holiday you kick back, eat, and do nothing all day. If you like this episode, you can go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, watch the old episodes, and I'll see you next week.